the froth has continued, and uh, the question is only time will tell how long uh, that will go. You know, markets, as we know, they move well in advance of where the world is going. Uh, and so it's just really a question of how patient investors are. And with the time value of money being nearly zero, uh, people should be quite patient. We'll make you pay. That was J.P. Morgan Asset and uh, Wealth Management CEO uh, Mary Callahan Erdos speaking earlier this hour. And you're going to make her pay? Delivering out for her. So I was talking to Mickey Drexler. Oh, okay, yeah. We're going to make him pay for dinner next time. Oh, absolutely. You paid last time. I paid last time. I don't put in. I've never put in. You know, I've never put an expense bill in 25 years. That way no one can ever say you padded his account. Yeah, that was expensive, too. Yeah. I don't put it's in. expensive, too. It's right. not worth it. Back to Mary Erdos. You heard what she had to say. You know, the bubble, 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 toil and trouble. Does anyone ever come on and say, you know what, stock, some stocks are inexpensive versus their growth rate? I do. I think there are stocks that have now cooled off in the last few days and are getting interesting. Like what? Like what? Yeah, like what? Give me an idea. Okay, I'm going to give you one that is, I think, a high growth stock. Okay. That is, that is amazing. Upstart. It's expensive as all get out, that but they is, are. Yeah. But that's the secret to be able to do AI lending. And I think AI lending is the future. Charlie Sharp chose that. You want an expensive stock? Wells Fargo. Charlie Sharp has fired everyone, and now I guess uh, he has to fire himself. Jim, look at that stock. No, I know what it was down yesterday. I thought that was an opportunity. There's Wells Fargo. Uh, Charlie Sharp, you mentioned, of course. Great friend of. Uh, of Elizabeth Warren. Um, well, that was, that's you, a joke. You're making a joke there, yes, right? I'm kidding. Yes. Right. That's Upstart is at 248 times earnings, but when you talk with David Girard, David, we are all going to be, this is the end of FICO, okay? okay. It says FICO is a ridiculous, stupid measure that gives you no insight into whether someone can pay back a loan. And you know what, David? I agree with that. Okay. I think FICO is a joke versus what he's got. Um, well, maybe Evergrande should have done a few more FICO scores. We were oh, talking Evergrande. a lot about it last week. Of course, the possible default of that very large property uh, company in China. Uh, Mary Erdos had some thoughts on Evergrande as well. Take a listen. Everyone's talking about Evergrande as if it's a, a country. It's just a company. Uh, it's not a small company, but it's, it's not the largest thing that's happening in China. It's only 2% of the real estate debt market in China. It's only 1% of the China U.S. dollar bond market, and it's less than half of a percent of the China local bond market. And so, you know, is it a Lehman Brothers? No. Okay. It's never, uh, the whole Lehman thing was a false narrative. It's, yes. What it is is, has the government decided to attack the property sector, which is the big growth engine of that country? Uh, 30 percent GDP. It's been very overinflated. And also the greatest so, wealth creator. Right. Because the stock market, frankly, has not done a great deal no. there for some time. So, but is the government going to be after Evergrande and then the next? Or is Evergrande an outlier because there's 300 billion in debt? Well, we aren't, you know, listen, they did uh, sell a stake in a bank that has enabled them to raise Who another billion and a half. The state. <laughs> The China men, they're creative. But the state owned enterprises are getting bigger once again in China. Well, and not just party, pro, in all, party across the board. owned enterprises. Right. And I'm not talking about the pajama party, just so you know. Okay. You can still register, by the way, for delivering Alpha right now. You can get the morning sessions on demand. We've got a great afternoon lineup as well. By the way, Chamath Palapatia, Brad Gerstner. They'll talk a lot of SPAC. Scott Sperling, Kate Pawn. The afternoon session kicks off at uh, 2 p.m. But right here, up next, stop trading with Jim. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.